Hello, my name is Jenna. And I'm Cassie. For, For what, what in the world, world isn't chemistry? We are coming to you live today with breaking news that was just discovered. Yes, that's right. Just in. It has been recently discovered that there is chemistry in cupcakes. Let's take a look from the live footage of how two young girls recently discovered Man, I'm hungry. Me too. You should make something. Well, I don't know. What should we make? Hmm. Cupcakes! Well, when baking soda or baking powder is mixed with an acid like vinegar or when it's heated, it creates CO2. That's carbon dioxide, right? Sure is. So the, the air pockets in cupcakes what makes it so light and fluffy. Yep. Baking soda is the same as sodium bicarbonate, which is 2NaHCO3. The reaction in the cupcakes is 2 NaHCO3, which turns into 2NaCO3 plus H2O, which is water, and CO2. Baking powder is the same as NaHCO3. It's neutralized by an acid. The reaction in the cupcakes looks like this. NaHCO3 plus H+, plus, which turns into Na+, plus, plus H2O, plus CO2. Also, the egg plays a very important role in cupcakes. When heated, the egg proteins solidify and hold all the other ingredients together, like a binding agent. So that's why they don't crumble. Yep, sure is. On the left, you'll see the folded proteins of raw egg whites. They denature into unfolded proteins while heated. The proteins then aggregate and solidify to come together and hold all the ingredients together strongly. Let's stir the egg in. Whoa! Good thing you're wearing safety goggles. Sugars also play a very important role in baked goods such as our cupcakes. Sugars contain an amino acid which, uh, which start the caramelization process which releases a chemical called an aldehyde. The caramelized sugars create the golden brown look on the cake that most baked goods have. Also, we need flour. And we need oil. What does the flour do? It keeps the cake from getting too moist and soggy. What does the oil do? The oil keeps it from being too dry. Together, they make, make the perfect pair. Make sure to only fill them halfway because they rise. Okay. Perfect. Time to put them in. So here, after the cupcakes have been baked, you can see that the caramelization process has taken effect on the cupcake and turned it a light golden brown. The caramelization process starts at about 320 degrees Fahrenheit when it's being cooked. Let's take a look at the caramelization process. Sucrose, which is table sugar, breaks down to glucose and fructose. Here is the chemical formula for sucrose breaking down into glucose and fructose. The caramelization process starts at approximately 320 degrees Fahrenheit. These sure look delicious. Yeah, we had fun and learned a lot about chemistry in the cupcakes. Let's time to dig in. Yeah. <laughs> well, folks, there you have it. Cupcakes do indeed have chemistry in them. That's all for What in the World Isn't Chemistry. Back to you, Miss Newbury.